Hey, hold on. Here's a newsbreaker line. Let's see who's on the old newsbreaker line. Uh, good afternoon. I thought. I thought. I thought I thought a booty chat. <laughs> hey, it's birthday time for Mike Tyson. Hey, Mike, how's it going? <laughs> 50 years old today. Wow. Happy birthday. I'm very excited. You know, I just got my AARP card. Oh, you did? You called? You got it? Yeah, the American Association of Rapists and Predators. You know, uh, <laughs> Bill Clinton's a charter member. Uh, Bill, Co- Bill Cosby's in charge of refreshments. You know, <laughs> Hypno, Root Beer, Chloroform, Cola, you know, all the beverages that sit on. They serve over there at the Cobb Sexual Energy Center when they invite a rapist to... Yes, oh, I'm, and a happy I'm birthday, Pearl. Yeah, very happy birthday. You know, right. uh, Robin Gibbons, my ex-wife, she's yeah. very, she showed up on my birthday party last night. Oh, she did? And I became very emotional, Kim. Did you really, sir? Well, I'm not sure if it was emotion or the Macy sprayed right in my eyes. <laughs> you were crying it kind of sucks because I hadn't even made a move on the biatch yet, you know? <laughs> <laughs> she was probably asking for it anyway, you know. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> you know, at 50, I have a lot of fun memories, you know, and not so fun ones fun of my was... career. Like the fight with Buster Douglas. Remember that? Oh, God. He had you fast, yeah, that, man. Oh, that thing was over quicker than Larry Wax's chances of hosting 9 to noon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the way he blew it, maybe he could get a job over there at We Seek Boys or whatever they call himself. <laughs> <laughs> You know, his chances of being on the radio over there, you know. <laughs> you know, I haven't talked to you in a while, Kim. You know, yeah, I'm glad Mike. you finally got rid of that flaming bag of Bolshevik <laughs> fake conservatism. <laughs> it was very close. I'm sorry. It's Bolshevik. It very close. You know what I'm talking about. That Michael yeah. Guy, Michael, Michael Graham. Michael Graham, yeah, we got rid of him finally. Did I, you know, Van the Holyfield heard Michael Graham show one time, and he called me and asked me to bite off his other ear. <laughs> just, I mean, that guy really sucked. Fair. He did. <laughs> Is the thing working? <laughs> you know why Evander never gave me a rematch? Why did he never give you a rematch? We had irreconcilable differences. Irreconcilable. Oh, oh God. God. Yeah. yeah you, take a while to get that one. Because the fight, you know, it's going to be on paper chew. It paper chew, crazy, ladies you know? and gentlemen. <laughs> you know who the sponsor was going to be? Who's the sponsor, sir? Michelob. No, wait a minute. Michelob. <laughs> Michelob. Thank you. Hey, did you see where Ray Brent Marsh, who operated the Tri-State Crematory, was released from prison after yeah. 12 years? 12 years in prison, crematory. You know, I heard that Ray couldn't wait to get out. Really? You, know, you couldn't wait? Yeah. Well, the work had really been piling up. Piling up? Oh, oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Brent Marsh, you kidding? Yeah. This guy didn't know his ash from a hole in the ground. <laughs> or an incinerator. <laughs> you know, the time it couldn't have been any better for him, though. It, it couldn't uh, have been better, sir. Oh, Ray's going to invite over Animal Lecter and Jeffrey Dahmer for a 4th of July cookout where the meat's going to fall off the bone. It's going to be great. Oh, God. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> You know what Jeffrey Dahmer's last words were? No, I don't, sir. I eat guys like you for breakfast. (laughs) (laughs) You should have told me if you didn't want to hear it. I'll take it from here. Please. I'm Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, happy birthday. That's Man. paper chew. Yeah. Paper chew, ladies Make and gentlemen. Make a lobe. A lobe, I'm telling you. Oh my God, he made it to 50. Not doing it. Hey, newsbreaker line. Hold on. See us on the old newsbreaker line. Uh, good afternoon. <laughs> oh, <that's hilarious. laughs> Good afternoon, Kim. This is your old friend Larry King hey, calling. Larry, a joke for you. Oh, you do? Uh, yes, sir. Please, yeah. You know why Joe Biden was so happy he finished a jigsaw puzzle in six months? No, I don't, sir. The box said four to six years. <laughs> Boy, I guess he really showed him, didn't he? <laughs> Well, a sad note from my old yes. employer, Nancy Grace, is leaving headline news after 12 oh, years. Oh, no, really? Wow. Oh, yeah, it's very sad. They've already yeah. taken out three of the snack machines over there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> In a statement, Nancy said she was going to be leaving HLN to pursue other projects like ice cream trucks. <laughs> <laughs> you be pursuing them, all right? <laughs> stop, stop! Y'all stop! Y'all stop! Hey, wait, wait! <laughs> I'm Nancy Grice. It's the ice cream man. It's the ice cream man.
<laughs> Nancy's even considering a job over there at We Suck and Blither where she can offer triple chin coverage. <laughs> I said triple, triple chin coverage, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Can't the WSB. <laughs> yes, sir. So I always yeah. felt sorry yeah. for Nancy Grace's husband, Kim. You felt sorry for him, sir? Oh, many nights the poor man couldn't even hear the stereo. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to listen to the music, huh? <laughs> Hey, did you see where the Supreme Court of Japan has upheld blanket surveillance of Muslims? Yep, so because they're Muslims, yeah. They're yeah, as the Japanese people are being advised to keep their eyes partially open. <laughs> oh, Larry. Oh, my God. Or, or as far as they can. Just, <laughs> oh, man. Nobody got any toothpicks or something. Jeez. Huh? <laughs> oh, I know Johnny Depp's wife always tries to keep her unswollen eye, shut eye <laughs> on the lookout for conspicuous-looking camel jockeys. I'm pretty sure of that, yeah. I'm pretty sure myself, sir. Former Tri-State Crematory uh, oh, owner Bray oh, Brent oh, Marsh is yeah. being released in yeah, prison. He's, he's out now. Yeah. 12 years well, now. just in time for Ray to get down to Rio for the Olympics, you know. I mean, <laughs> he heard there were body parts washing up on the shore, you <laughs> yes, know. Yes, sir. Right there in the Ray's beach. the kind of guy that always wants to get a leg up on his competition. A leg up, <laughs> sir. He's so much you're telling me. A leg up. You know, you know their slogan over there. No, what's their slogan, uh, The sir. Tri-State Crematory, yeah. where you're always at the top of the heap. The heap, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. I knew it. <laughs> they're being sued by, you know, uh, they're being sued by the cheetah. Is sued by the cheetah, sir? Yeah, they stole their slogan where the women are always stacked. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of You left the bodies the out there in the back in 40 acres there. So. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, it's our pleasure entirely, Larry. Thank you so much. <laughs> Cleveland, you're on. You, you guys keep your eyes open. You know? guys open for something. Larry King right here. Oh, there's the newsbreaker line. Hold everything. Let's use on the old newsbreaker line. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Cam. This is Donald Trump calling. The Donald boy still kicking butt. I love what's happening here. How are you, sir? Well, you know, Obama, that was pathetic. Them trying to shake hands with the president of Mexico <laughs> oh, and Canada. That? God, man, it reminded me of Muhammad Ali meeting up with Michael J. Fox. They just <laughs> well, they kept missing each other. It was oh, unbelievable. I mean, low five. at least the president of Mexico had an excuse. You know, he just had lunch and his hand was kind of a... You know, Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Marla Maples. Yeah. She sold the engagement ring that I gave yeah, her. Yeah, you gave her a seven, a seven and a half carat diamond ring, and she sold it at auction for 110 It's okay. I mean, she earned it, believe me. I don't want to elaborate. Right oh, now, but well, she well, earned right. that. As a matter of fact, when I saw Marla for the first time in years on Dancing with the Stars, I said, oh, that's what she looks like. <laughs> no, sir. She's always been a tramp. I'm so, we, a tramp. <laughs> Sir, we that's not come, very nice. At Tunnel Hill High School, Marla was voted most likely to conceive, okay? <laughs> her high school yearbook picture was horizontal. It was ridiculous. <laughs> that can't be right. She was known as Titanic, but I don't think you can say <laughs> Titanic, <why>. that's why. <laughs> you know, a lot of guys have never even gotten on Augusta National. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I learned my lesson from Marla Maple. Did you really, sir? It's like I told Melania, from now on, if you fake it in bed, all you're going to get is cubic zirconia, right? <laughs> no more of this. The Donald. Very sad about this Anton Yelk and the Star Trek do- guy, you yeah, know. His whole career just seemed to go downhill for him. I mean, it was very oh, bad. Sir. Going <laughs> downhill. <laughs> Can't be good. Anton just signed a lucrative deal, you know. He did? Uh, Reverse mortgages, you know. We Reverse <laughs> Oh, my God. Bada boom, bada bing, which was the sound the tires made. So it's oh, oh. It's great. <laughs> SUV stood for stuck on the vehicle. I mean, what can I tell you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> great to be so uplifting today. Oh, it's a pleasure to have you aboard, sir. I was feeling kind of down a minute ago. Now I feel so much more better. I'm a gooder. And... Like the Donald. Thank, Thank you so much. Aye, aye, aye. Really lift your spirits. The spirits for the Kimmer Show.